Orchard 001, which is not, it was like a year into doing photography. I stumbled into photography in a very strange way. Someone saw a music video I made that was like a music video that didn't even feature the artist. It was like a short film. It did very well and it made a lot of people cry. It was like, you know, I was coming out of film school. I'm like, I wanted to do something cinematic and this song was perfect. And somebody saw the girl I was dating's boss saw this music video and this grown ass man started to cry. And he was like, that was just so beautiful. You should like, I can't believe you did that. Wow. He's like, you ever do photos? I'm like, "Mm, yeah, sure. He's like, because we, we do a lot of photo shoots. I'm like, oh, okay. And either like courage or just stupidity. I don't know what it was. I didn't, I wasn't willing to tell him that I don't know how to take photos. It's a very different thing. Just because it's a camera doesn't mean you know how to do it. And I said yes to like a big photo shoot, like a, like a full like campaign not knowing how to use flash photography, not knowing how to talk to models. I didn't know any of that stuff. Um, But I was a good producer. So I knew that I had a rookie photographer and he needed support. So, you know, I I did the producing things and I like talked to the agencies and I'm like, I'm going to be honest. I'm very new at this. I come from film. Can you get me like the best possible model? I need the best possible model. And I, convinced the only other photographer I knew in the city to mentor me for two weeks in exchange for like a short film for her business. And it worked. And the client was on set and there's like 10 people on set. And he's like, these are the best photos we've had in 15 years. He absolutely loved it. And he ended up booking me for like five years and like, I don't know, 200 more photo shoots. So that was wild, but I did not like fashion despite beautiful models flying people in renting mansions renting warehouses and working sounds with pretty glorious these. yeah for like 10 minutes for me and i was like i don't like this you know and i booked a bunch of shoots and i was editing myself at the time and so i was like zooming in on these gorgeous women's bodies gets old after like an hour and doing that like in the middle of the night and i'm like i just remember having this thought like this cannot be why my soul chose to come here. This is, there's no way this is why I'm here, you know, but I'm very grateful. I got money and I can buy all the stuff to do better foot photos. Randomly, I went online onto Facebook and I said, does anyone want to do like a really creative stylized black and white shoot? It was like, I don't know, two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, no one's going to actually reply four or five people replied and they're like, yeah, I'm in I'm like, Oh shit. And I'm like, I don't know how to do this. I've never done this style of photography, you know, but I started at a Pinterest board and I just started like liking the stuff that caught my eye. And just like Hans Zimmer, like there's the same photographer that just kept coming up and I didn't know I wasn't looking at his name. It was just the, the photos at Marco Grope. And you know, like, I really like the style. I tried to study it to figure it out. And on that first portrait where I told Majid was his name, I'm like, dude, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna be honest with you. You're a guinea pig. This might fail badly. Are you cool? He's like, yeah, whatever. You're not charging me. We did the shoot. I sweat so damn much. I don't like, I was just like, is this going to work? He left. I couldn't stop thinking about these photos. I'm like, did I actually capture anything that's good? I put the photos on Facebook that night just because like out of like some crazy, I don't know, again, courage or stupidity, woke up the next day and there's like hundreds of comments. I'm like, oh, snap. I'm like, and everyone's like, you nailed it. I can see his soul. I've known him his whole life. This is the greatest picture ever. I want to book you. I want to book you. I want to book you. I panicked because I was like, that was an absolute fluke. I don't know how that happened. I deleted the post. Cause I'm like, this, this is not good. But so many people messaged me before I deleted it, that I ended up booking 20 more free test black and white portrait shoots. But in that first shoot, I quickly discovered that, you know, in that first shoot in that first f- few shoots, 
I saw this thing that made me absolutely obsessed. Everybody that came and sat in my chair had this deep burning desire to be seen in the world and this deep heaviness of shit. If people see the real me, will I be likable? Will I be lovable? Will I be respectable? And those two things just clashed. And I felt that in me. I felt that like, I just want to be seen. I just want to be heard. I want my life to matter, but holy shit, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to do too much because what if people don't like me? And that conflict between those two energies became my absolute obsession.